Tonight on Cavuto, forget you didn't build that. Corporations didn't build anything. Hillary Clinton says that businesses don't create jobs. Apparently just, well, huge speaking fees. And a veteran affairs whistleblower threatened and now here with the proof. Plus, Elon Musk's warning, be careful what you wish for. Why? The tech billionaire says technology of the future is a threat to humanity as we know it. And is this 25-mile drop proof that the government is dropping the ball? What one Google executive did that could change the space race for good? Cavuto launches. Get it? Launches. Right. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto. And all this time, I thought the president was fixated on Fox. Turns out he's really not fixated on TV at all. He doesn't watch cable news. I've spent you know, countless hours with him on Air Force One, especially in the conference room where we always had the TV on, uh, and it was never uh, in any of the trips I ever took with him uh, tuned in to cable news. Some of the things that would, he would, would cross his iPad would include news from CNN or MSNBC websites and things websites. like that. You didn't uh, he reads Fox blogs. News' website there. Well, I mean, he's aware of what's out there. Well, for a guy who doesn't watch us, he sure does like to talk a lot about us. Uncle Jim, who's a little stubborn and been watching Fox News, and somebody who said, well, I don't know, I was watching Fox News, and they said this horrible. You're a Republican, you're, wa you're watching Fox News. And One television station <laughs> that is entirely devoted to uh, uh, attacking my administration. Some people are saying is that the IRS was used yeah. at, a, at a local level in Cincinnati, maybe other places, to Absolutely go after. Absolutely wrong. These kinds of things keep on surfacing, in part because you and your TV station will promote them. So I'm not really watching Fox News, but if I were, I would constantly mention <laughs> Fox News. Anyway, to Young America Foundation's Ashley Pratt, along with our Fox Biz All-Stars, Lizzie McDonald, Hadley Heath Manning and Tracy Blaines. Um, Ashley, what do you make of this? Well, I think I'm just as fascinated as you are by this comment, and I would be hesitant to think that he's not watching CNN, seeing as Jay Carney is now, you know, paid by them as a contributor. But he does often, he goes after Fox News quite a bit, and you hear it whenever polls are low for him. He says, well, the people at Fox News, if they didn't keep spreading lies, or if they kept saying, you know, all of this, then maybe my poll numbers wouldn't be so low. The point is, this is a president who's very, very weak, and I would hope that he does know some of the daily, you know, content of these news stations, regardless of whatever affiliation they have. But I would think that it's important for him to know, as the leader of the free world, what is going on on a daily basis. Because, after all, he did mention in one press conference that he's just as shocked as we are, the American people, every time he hears something because he's getting his news from watching the news. So to hear he's not watching it, it just seems like another flip-flop in this administration. All I know is, and Tracy, you can go back to Linda Johnson watching the three sets, you know, uh, NBC, CBS, and ABC, uh, about what the media are saying about him. Any, any president worth his salt is, is, is going to be very well attuned to what the media is saying. And I think Jay Carney made him look worse by saying, no, the guy is not Jay agree. Carney, cool it with this. So we're on Air Force One. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So he's an Jay Carney is just and, he so made, cool. and, he made, and he made his boss look worse, if you ask me. Look, what he should have said is he watches everything. He watches everything 24-7. He knows everything that everyone is saying times. Instead, he made him sound like he's flippant and he doesn't care. And that's unfortunately the way the American people are starting to see it. Lizzie. Well, yeah. He, and he also, the administration went to the point of grabbing Associated Press journalists' phone yeah. records or pushing for the FCC to have, you know, hallway monitors and cable newsrooms to see what they were talking about. The fact that Jay Carney did slip in, he is made aware, is clear that the president is being briefed on exactly what the cable TV shows are talking about. Well, they knew everything we were saying, didn't they? Yeah. Uh. Well, even people in his administration, like right. Jen Psaki, she comes after Fox News all the time. So they're clearly mm -hmm. watching and in tune. Yeah. Uh, you know, Adley, the bottom line is, though, that there is a, a, a pattern here of, of, of dismissing the agitators. The problem with now what's going on in the media is they're all agitating, right? Well, I, I agree, Neil. I think all of us, we can benefit from listening to a variety of media sources, from hearing what people have to say, even when they disagree with us. I think the president should definitely be aware of what his critics are saying, and not just what they're saying, but why they're saying it. What are the motivations of people uh, with whom he disagrees so that he can look for potential paths forward? That's the only way we're going to learn to understand each other better is by listening to what the other has to say. But maybe that's part of the problem. Even the people that used to say really nice things are not saying nice things anymore. Right, right. And you just finally say, I can't listen. I can't listen. No yeah, more. No more. No, 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 no. 
You know, if you think about it, Leslie, though, it always sounds very intellectual when someone comes off and says, I just read everything. I don't have to have TV. I'm a reader. Yeah, I'm a reader, right. Which is fine. Uh, but, but uh, you know, we live in the type of world where we get data and information across a number of media. Uh, or media. And, and, and I think it's a little disingenuous to assume otherwise. And it makes him even appear more detached than he should be, than he already is. You know, if anything, he should be really monitoring what is being talked about because there are serious scandals that are affecting the lives of the American people and, and the middle class. So you would think that he would want to be saying, yes, I'm all over these issues that are really hurting people. Well, you know, actually, I'm reminded of, of John Kennedy, who famously would say in the Wall Street Journal editorial pages, no friend of his, by the way. What are they saying about me now? He used to love reading all of them and, and following everyone. Um, so I think it is in keeping with presidents, right through Ronald Reagan and George Bush, uh, both Bush uh, presidents, that, that they, they keep track of both what their supposed media friends and enemies are saying. And that is as it should be expected. Well, I think something that, you know, especially today on the 50th anniversary of President Reagan's Time for Choosing address, he was a very self-aware president, and this president seems to be very much self-important. He believes, you know, that he's right in everything he does. He believes that he's with the American people on everything, but yet we've seen a president become more detached. But and he's I think also, when he steps, that's right, when he, when he steps out to respond to a controversy, he gets immediately really angry about exactly. it. Exactly. But then it becomes like, oh, hope and change the subject, right? Let's right. just yeah. change the subject and it's not a smidgen of corruption, for example, at the IRS, even though initially he was saying, I am really angry, I want to get to the bottom of it. There's right, and then wrong he ends with up just saying looking that... like a human being, though. Is there, I mean, just saying, yeah, I watch that, or yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like admitting you watch Dancing with Stars. Not that I do, because they've turned me down. Uh. But I, I, <laughs> I think that there's nothing wrong with just being real, and don't act like you're on down the limits of You living. know that yeah. he and Michelle went home after that Bill O'Reilly interview and analyzed it six ways till Tuesday. <laughs> there's no way! I thought, I thought only O'Reilly did that. No. <laughs> let me, let me no play this way. backwards <laughs> and see if you know notice what I noticed. Uh, but, but look, I, I just think, come on, just come on. And by the way, how do you know so much about Fox if you never watch Fox? But it's like chicken and egg, chicken and egg. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> all right, ladies, thank you all very, very much. Well, do, do you think that President Obama is watching us right now? Hello, Mr. President. I know you're watching. Anyway, you can hashtag Kabuto. Let us know.